Hello everyone. So imagine we have a server and we're making requests using site request command. And maybe we're requesting some resource. And it returns an object. And that object has you know a body with data and a status. And at first it's pending, but eventually this status will be complete. So how do we make site request command? until the server returns something with data status complete. We would write a recursive algorithm, or we could use my plugin called Cypress Recurse. That's available, you just import recurse function, and then here's what you do. You say recurse, and you need at least two arguments. And the first argument is a function that runs the commands that you want to repeat. And these commands cannot fail, they have to successfully finish. In our case, site recurs always resolves, right, with some response, right, so it's successful. So that's why we can just have a function that calls site request for results. Okay, the second argument to recurs function is a predicate function. It either returns true or false or runs an assertion and it gets whatever the previous function yields. So in this case, it's a response from the server. So we can say response. And what do we want to do? We want to say, okay, if the response body data status is complete, then stop. All right. So let's see how this runs. Okay. So notice first call the server returns pending and pending and then third time returns complete and then we stop. You can also pass a couple of options to control how often and with what delay the commands run. For example, you can say delay of one second between attempts. You can also say only make up to five attempts. And finally, unlike all this extra logging of each attempt, so instead of that, I'll say log completed at the end and you can pass functions to control what you're logging as well so this is an example right of using cypress occurs to ping the server until something happens so that the predicate returns true and you can apply cypress occurs in many situations you can look at the page and for example reload the page until something appears and so on now the one thing you might notice i'm using cypress Quest command. So how did I simulate the server? I don't have a server running, right? So what does it do? So here's a little bonus section. I'm using site stop command to directly <laughs> stop site request command. And on the first call, because this is seen on stop, you can control what it does on first call, second call, third call, and so on. We call a function that just wraps an incomplete response object right here, simulating as if the server returns something from a network. And on the third call, we wrap a completed response. And that's how we simulate a server without having one. And I could not use site intercept command to do the same because as you know, site intercept and site request do not see each other. Site request is meant for your tasks to call the server, not for the application to be intercepted. Okay, for more examples, look at Cypress Course Readme. There are lots of videos and lots of examples of using it.